we were gearing up for the playoffs. Boston game four, the Eastern Conference quarterfinals was the day I, I you know, got my shoulder ripped out. You know, initially I was upset, maybe even a little bitter, but I looked at it as, a, as an opportunity. Park City is my favorite place in, in the U.S. A lot of people ask me uh, where I was going, and I mentioned, no, I'm going to Park City, Utah to train, but they all kind of looked at me funny. <laughs> the reason I decided to come here and train was because Alex Moore, you know, he's kind of the, the mayor of Park City here in a lot of ways, so I just, you know, kind of follow his league. He sets up the training program from a sports science standpoint. You know, it just makes it a lot of fun to, to come here and train because something's always different. And Side on, just get the feel of the... These guys spend so much time inside on a basketball court or, uh, or in, a, in a weight room. I think it's nice in the summer for these guys to get outside and Park City, Utah's my favorite place in the country. There's certain things that we do that works, you know, different muscles, but at the end of the day, it's something like paddle boarding is, is going out there and, and, and having fun, it's leisure time. We can still train the physical, but we can also get outside and, and help the mental side of things to get outside and kind of clear your head and press the reset button before the season, I think that's huge. Every night when you go out on the court, you're being judged. The media is judging you, fans are judging you, people are judging you. Literally every night, someone's writing a review on what you did. It's something that you can you know, go out there on the water, you fall in, you, you do the workout, and, and, and it stays fun. We're trying to do hiking, which is great for his cardiovascular system, and it's also nice for your, your brains and your, and your head to get out there and experience great views. The other side of it is training at altitude is very hard. You know, it's like train high, live low, but we're training high, living high right now. If you can live for three to four weeks above 7,000 feet, six and a half, 7,000 feet, you actually get changes in your blood. So you get changes in your hemoglobin mass, which is essentially helps you carry more oxygen in your blood. When you go back down to sea level, you have more aerobic capability, so you can do more work. So when I go back down to sea level, you know, I've, I've been told that you, know, you kind of feel like Superman. Chest up, chest up, chest up. My number one priority is being healthy. And every day I approach it like, how can I get my shoulder better? The recovery time is, is lengthy, six months, and where you have to put in a lot of tedious work. You do 10 doubles, 10 singles. When Kevin started, he couldn't lift his hand. The first phase is basically a lot of rehabilitation, not allowed to do a lot, just working on the range. The next phase is more rotator cuff muscle exercises, basic exercise, a lot of endurance, not a lot of load. Two, one. And then as we go through, we add more weight. Um, we add the complexity of the exercises. Good, that's a good start position. Hold it down there just for a second once you get down the bottom, so your last one. Good. The last four weeks, we've been able to do a lot more stuff and he's putting some good mass on there, which is, which is good moving into training camp. As we head towards training camp, we start to crank the intensity up. Because once training camp starts, that's it. If you're not physically ready once training camp starts, there's no time because six days into training camp, we're playing games. And then it's over from there. The season's just around the corner. Just having been four or five months off, uh, and not having shot the ball and not having made a move towards the, towards the rim or shot a, a three-point shot, it's, it, just, it just changes things. But you remember again, it, it all comes back why you love the game and, and why the chase is so fun to get out there and go after it. on the track or on the you know, field or hiking or you know, doing yoga, being on the reformer in Pilates, there's always a different feel to it all to when you actually get back out there on the court. <laughs> Moving forward, I think everybody on our team, one through 15, one through 14, one through 13, we feel like we have unfinished business. You know, at the end of the day, we want to win a, a championship. <laughs> 